Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tika Tika back at you with another mukbang. Tonight I'm doing something that is one of my favorite things to eat. It's these noodles right here. I don't know exactly what they're called. They're called me gori. They're fried noodles. They're more of like a dry noodles, which is super good. Um, I discovered these when I was shopping over at Walmart one time and I heard a lot of good things about them and I was like, that's me right there. The noodle girl loves noodles, so I'm going to get it. So I decided to cook it up tonight. This is three packages. I'm not sure if I can get through this, but I do love noodles and I am hungry, so there's a good possibility of that. And then to drink, <laughs> it was dirty bake. It's got frozen cranberries in it, which I love the idea of putting like frozen fruit and as opposed to like ice into your drinks because I feel like it picks up a lot of the flavor off of it and I don't know I just I've always been like this and I've always loved this as opposed to ice sometimes but I do love ice so and then I have these calorie free I think is it the calorie free? yeah calorie free um like the Stani drops these are really good because you can control how much flavor you want in it and I really like this. Sometimes I'll turn ice cubes and put this in it. So I have like, I guess, I put it into water. Does that make sense? And then, um, then I put it in the trays and then I put it into my ice water, I guess, already. So pretty much I'm having watered down juice. What the heck is wrong with me? I don't know. So as you can tell by my voice, my voice progressively gets worse until it's completely gone. And then it's like a recovery period where I'll actually get it back. But anybody that's tired and has five kids and has everything else going on in life, they are probably losing their voice just as much as I am. So, oh, before I get started, I wanted to give a few shout outs today. I have some amazing subscribers that have all sorts of different types of channels. And I just wanted to pick three today and give some shout outs. My first shout out would be to my, my loyal subscriber, um, Mukbangs with Corey P. He is amazing and his camera and everything that he does with his videos is absolutely amazing as well. And I love watching his videos because he's just so relaxed and he, you know, he's not trying to eat a bunch of food like the other mukbangers are. He's just eating what he knows he can eat. He's happy with that. He's trying new places out and, you know, he's really trying to grow his um, mukbang, mukbang channel. And, um, you know, he just, he's, he's super awesome. Go check out his channel if you just want to see someone that's real and, you know, loves doing mukbangs and is really serious about this. You know, he, he loves doing it. Um, I'll put a link to his um, channel down below as well so you can check him out. He's really cool and I think he's going to go places. The other one I'd like to take the shout out to is Living Life Beautifully. She does not know that she's getting this shout out, but this girl, since the day she's become a subscriber, she's always commented on every single one of my videos and she's so positive and absolutely gorgeous. And her channel mainly focuses, from my perspective, on family and beauty and lifestyle. And she just seems super cool. I feel like my kids could vibe with her kids and I just love how she's able to express herself on camera and she's very clear with what messages she's trying to get through about just loving yourself and being beautiful and so girl this shout outs for you her link will be in the description below as well the next one i would like to give a shout out to is one of my besties that you saw in one of my um <laughs> hoedown throwdown video i'm still laughing because i had such a good time doing that video but her channel is called Terry, Terry and Tewanik, and she's probably changed it by now to Team Terry, Team Tewanik. So go check out her channel. She's just barely starting off, but you know, the more views, the better for her, and that way she can showcase herself. She's lightly getting into mukbangs, but she likes to do product reviews, and she is absolutely amazing. You saw in my video, this girl's got a lot of like fire and spunk, and so yeah, check out her channel. As for me, I'm gonna get to eating because my voice is cracking and I just can't get the words out that I wanna get out. So I'm gonna get to eating, okay? <laughs> I only put eggs on this because that's what it looks like with like the package. So we're gonna try this out. It looks good though. Look at this yolk on this egg. It's just like, I don't even know if you can see it. It's ridiculous how beautiful and yellow this is. This is um, organic eggs. So they're always nicer to have. When I first 
tried these noodles, I was like, oh my god, reminds me of childhood. <laughs> and anybody that knows me knows I love my noodles. Let's see if we can get a good bite in here. Mmm, it's so good. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. These noodles are a little bit spicy, which I like. They're not like a fire noodle challenge or anything spicy, but they've got like a nice, like Indonesian kick to it. It's it's a little spicy. It's got lots of like flavor with them. And I honestly want to say that I feel like the noodles come pre-seasoned as well. They're just super good all around if you want like a good noodle that's hearty and good. Mm. It's so good. I'm going to try it with a bite of egg. Yeah, we're just filling into the weather. I haven't eaten like a whole ton the past week. But you know, like, a girl's got to try to eat something, you know what I mean? Look at this. I don't know if you can see this without me spilling everywhere all over my floors. But it is so delicious. And the flavor of this is so beautiful. Mmm. Okay. I know I always say this, but I really feel like I can eat the whole thing. It's that good. So, I had a request from one of my friends, Quetta, and I'm going to do a taco mukbang in the next few days. Somewhere in the next few days I'm going to do this, and I'm going to create a couple different types of tacos. Yes. Every single person I know can easily eat like 20 tacos. I feel like super fortunate that I don't have Del Taco or Taco Bell in town or I'd be in trouble. I'd be there every day. You wouldn't be able to find me at home. I'm burning up still. I'm like cooking. I still have just like a little bit of a fever. There's been like this terrible cold going around. I'm on the outs of it. It's just, I still have a little bit of the after effects, which, you know, anybody that knows when they get like a pretty hardcore cold, it just takes a little while to get better. And it sucks when you still have to do everything and um, you're stressed out and you're just trying to get everything done. And it doesn't make getting better any easier, you know? Mm. You know, I know why they have this yolk because it adds that like, really creamy texture that is super good mm. I've not been able to fix this dash yet and that's okay I literally I feel like this desk is growing on me like every time I do a video. The like desk gets higher and higher. I don't know what's up with that, but it just keeps happening. Mm. You know, everybody's got like that, that one food that they can eat that's like bottomless. I really feel like noodles is my like forte with that. You know, I've always wanted to travel to like some countries that really specialize in like their noodle dishes. I really want to go to Thailand. So if you've ever gone to Thailand, please tell me in the comments like box down below like what your experience was like. Because that's like my go-to country for 2018. Like 
hands down, absolutely seems beautiful and amazing. I can't wait for my husband and I to go there at some point. Mm. You know, while I'm looking at my eggs, I want to point out one of my weird qualities that I have with food. I don't think everybody does this. A lot of people probably bypass it. But I'm like a freak about this one thing when it comes to food. I like eggs, okay? But I'm somebody that has to pick the little danglies off the eggs. So if you ever come to my house and I'm cooking for you, just know that every single one of those danglies will be off of your eggs before I, I serve you breakfast or whatever I decide to cook or muffins or whatever. You'll never have a dangly in it. And I don't know what those things are. I just never been able to eat them ever, 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 ever. Never have, never will. For as long as I've been cooking, I've picked every single one of them off. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know. My kids don't care though, and I mean they don't pick it off. I have one kid though that's like, make sure you don't miss a piece, mom. I'm like, I know, baby. Mama's not gonna miss a piece. Mm. I fried my eggs on. Oh my goodness, everything's falling out of this thing. But I fried my eggs on one side. And then I just like lightly did it. So I would call this probably like, even though I didn't flip it, I would feel like an over medium for my eggs. Which I feel like is a good spot for eggs to be at. That way you still can enjoy the yolk, but everything else is cooked. Mmm. So good. So I was thinking about starting some beauty on my channel because since I love the idea of makeup and being feminine and feeling beautiful about yourself, I am going to start doing some makeup tutorials probably once a week where I just come up with some beautiful or crazy design. And these are really practical and they'll be something that you could do on a budget because, you know, I'm not rich and I can't afford all those expensive cosmetics. So this would be something that you could pick up at your drugstore or, you know, at like a dollar store and um, see what you can kind of come up with for different um, shadows and lipsticks. Mm. We're sitting so far away from this. So good. I'm gonna break this lash yolk. Oh my god, it looks so good. If you love eggs and bacon, if you love anything with eggs, cook it over medium. It's always the best way to have it. Some people are scrambled eggs, I get you. Scrambled up, add some cheese to that, hook that baby up. But the best type of eggs for me are the ones you can like spread on toast and just do all sorts of different things with. Get this big bite. Mm. Oh, good. It was really good that bite. Okay, this might seem weird too. Anytime I put fruit in my drinks, so if it's like strawberries or blueberries or whatever, diced apples, I'll usually eat them. Just for cranberries, because it's such a little berry that holds its shape so well. You're still getting the flavor off of it, but you're not actually like going to crunch down on it. They're really bitter for me. So what I'll do is I'll drink all my drink, rinse my berries, and then I make bomb like cranberry lemon muffins with it. And they're just as good. I feel like I got two purposes out of it. Mm, so good. I 
have not spilt on myself yet once today, which is good. So I'm thinking about doing some shrimp tacos, some beef tacos, and then I wanted to do like one kind of different like organ meat one. I don't know which one I should do. If you have a suggestion, put it in the comment box below. I'll definitely take your suggestion. If you've had some like really good ones, I would even do like tripe or um, something different like a like a liver and onions one maybe. I love liver and onions. Yes, that's right, liver and onions taco. Mmm. I'm telling you. Ooh, what was I gonna tell you? So for dinner tonight, for my kids, I made them it's called an eggs and bacon soup. <laughs> I know it might sound weird, but it's a um, bacon like broth with bacon and potatoes. It's kind of like a breakfast soup, but for dinner, it's super good. And you whisk eggs into it. So it's kind of like an egg drop bacony kind of soup. It's so good, my kids love it. They ate a pot, I kid you not, this big tonight for dinner. They loved it. And I had some too, it was delicious. Mm. I told you I was going to finish all this. I definitely got more room for it too because it tastes so good. Mm. I'm so funny like <clears throat> excuse me I could not finish one of my salads in one of my videos, but I can finish a whole bowl of noodles. Like, go figure. That's so funny. So I went out this last weekend, and I saw a lot of people I haven't seen for a while because my community had, like, a dance kind of thing going on. And so it was so nice to catch up with people, and you just, you know, I constantly go back and think about, like, those like great friendship feelings that I had for those people and that just you know how much I miss them when they're gone and it was just so amazing seeing everybody again in like one spot so I got like the best of like everything having all of my amazing friends in one spot for just one night I took lots of pictures <laughs> here I am I've got like my selfie light and and my pictures like who does <laughs> who does this Who takes a selfie light around with them? It's it's a cool one I found off of Amazon, and clip to any phone. It's absolutely amazing, and it's fun too because I mean you can change the brightness of your pictures by just a couple clicks. Um, I feel like it really smooths out like your facial features, which is really incredible. Savage. My video camera is driving me crazy tonight, but that's part of life. Anyway, I finished my mukbang tonight. It was absolutely delicious, packed with flavor. Everything I've wanted in a noodle, all in one. Amazing. If you get a chance, check out my some of my subscribers' channels that I mentioned earlier, and I'll post the links below. Absolutely amazing people, and I think you'd really enjoy their channels as well. And um, I just want to say I hope that you guys all have the best day ever. And that you do something fun for yourself because you're important and you deserve it. So take care until next time. Bye.